Well, what an incredible performance by the USA team last weekend. And we're going to look in depth at their momentum they had throughout the whole tournament, specifically through their restarts, their defence and their attack. Now, a restart is a really prominent figure that they were retaining three times as many contestable restarts as the tournament average, which is a staggering advantage when you're trying to get the ball back after just scoring. The second element of their game, again, is a real strength, is their defence, that they were conceding just half as many points per game than the tournament average. And finally, in attack, as you might well assume, were scoring 24 points for more than the 18.6 average for the rest of the tournament. Now, they're great numbers and very impactful, but the best thing to do is show examples of just how they were seen throughout the tournament. The first clip shows how this USA team are so threatening at restart, with six people who can all go for the ball, but namely, Acefo, Baker and Barrett. And with Nui being left-footed, the players from England are isolated on the right-hand side, meaning there's a bigger gap in transitioning across to where the ball ends up going. A wonderfully accurate kick, batted inside by Barrett, Baker finds the exact hole that the England players were not able to fulfil. Now, what gives this USA team X factor at the restart is Newer's ability to use both feet, which is what we'll see with this next clip. Staying square, he's able to put the ball on his right foot, a rare skill in the game of sevens. And again, wonderful accuracy means that Acefo can catch the ball with two hands, most importantly keeping what we're deeming momentum in what is usually a 50-50 or perhaps slightly less advantageous situation for the attack to be in. We know that they can keep the ball when they get it and they score when they've got it, but it's not just about their attack. Their defence over the weekend, as we saw with the stats, was brilliant. And moments with Perry Baker, as we're seeing in this next clip, define how effective he can be in the game of sevens. Any other player in the world would give up chase against Naduva. A track sprinter, he can clock up to 36 kilometers per hour. Perry Baker does not give up chase, keeping and sustaining 37 kilometers per hour to throw him to touch and look what it means to him. It's always great having someone in your team who is that quick because you know what they're capable of. And when you feed off him and get them in the right environment, their skill sets can really come to the fore. And this last clip shows how Perry Baker is not just a finisher, he's also a creator. The ball shifted very quickly, the US loving to have a flat line, and Danny Barrett decides to take on the Argentinians in the final. Baker tracks the play, clocking up the defenders beaten for fun. He manages to evade five tackles before offloading to Danny Barrett for him to do the damage through the middle. Now, what I like most about this USA team is the fact they're all personalities, the most diverse team on the World Series. But just look at what it means to Perry Baker to help Danny Barrett score. It's not about him racing in, it's about the small things that they do collectively that make them so dangerous in a tournament they went in as third favourites in their pool. Staggering achievement, and we hope to see much more.